Today we are going to build a nano cluster from this unit cell. This is a copper unit cell and we are going to build a nano cluster of this particular unit cell. For this, we will go to edit, edit data and structure parameters. Sorry, unit cell. Here we will transform this into a super cell so that we can see a bigger structure out of it. So we will click on transform. Here we will transform it to 4 by 4 by 4 super cell. Okay. Here we can see our 4 by 4 by 4 unit cell of or super cell of copper. In this, this is the particular central atom. Here we can see this is a central atom having coordinates 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. This is the central atom. And before doing anything, we will save this structure as VASP. So for this go to file, export data, save as cu wasp, okay, here, using Cartesian coordinates, okay, now we will close this and open our new reformed wasp file. So here we have our wasp file with a uh, supercell of copper and in this, this particular atom here is the central atom with coordinates 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So we will edit this, uh, we will change this particular atom to another atom, say gold atom. So for this we will go to edit, edit data structure parameters. Here the atom number is Cu253. So we will search for it. This is the central atom that we have. We will change this to gold. So here we can see we have replaced a single atom of, uh, in this particular supercell. <coughs> now we will go to edit and bonds. Here we will have a new bonds and we will search for items bonded to A1 that is to copper not to copper but to gold atom. Okay, And we will search uh, atoms if A1 is included in the boundary. Okay, and then click apply. The maximum length here, we will change this to 5 first. So here we can see the bonds. Now we can change it to 10 so that we can get it to the corner atom. It will take some time to generate the bonds. So here we have the bonds connected to the gold atom. Now click on this polyhedral. So here we have our polyhedra in the supercell. We will just delete the atoms that are above this polyhedra. So for this, we will delete all the atoms that are above it.
Okay, to delete all the items that are above, just call it draw. So we can we have to rotate this particular unit cell and super cell and see all the items that are above it. So it seems we have deleted all the items above the body draw. So here we have our structure. Now we will save this file as XYZ. EU Nano Cluster. Closes. We'll open our XYZ file that we have just saved. So here we have our nano cluster, but with a gold atom in it. We will change that particular gold atom uh, with copper for this. Go to edit, edit data, structure parameters. Where is it? Here we have, we'll change this. To see you, see you one. Okay. So here we have our structure. You can see space scaling model. Now this is our nano cluster that we can see here in the polyhedra. Now we will create bonds out of it. For this, go to edit bonds and here new search for atoms bonded to A1 that is copper. And now we can see the maximum length that we have we first we need to see the length or uh, bond length that we have for this go to this go to bond length select two atoms the bond length is 2.53279 Armstrong and it is approximately same for all the bonds so here what we will do is we will go to edit bonds new and search atoms for bond bonded to A1 that is copper and the max length will take it about 2.56 Armstrong and click apply okay so here we can see our nano cluster formed so thank you for watching this video and also subscribe the channel to watch more such videos thank you